What is up, you sexy nerds? I am Wildfire One. You are watching and listening to Nerds New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. Uh, this is episode 137, and with me today is Grizzly McBee. What's up, y'all? Good old Grizzly. A lot of people have begged and pleaded to talk about to talk about this throughout the years, and there was a few reasons why we couldn't at first, and now well, finally we can. And of course, I'm talking about Cobra Kai. Um, Cobra Kai. When it first came out, it first came out for YouTube Plus, I'll call it YouTube, so the, where you pay money to see YouTube's video, like special shit and their movies and stuff. Yeah, YouTube Plus. And I already pay for too much streaming services already as it is. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And I'm not going to pay extra. I, I mean, I've even had some people come up to me and say, I'll let you use mine. I'm like, no, oh, no. That's the reason why we couldn't do it sooner. Well, recently, Cobra Kai went to Netflix. I think Netflix is actually taking over the series. Yeah, they are, yes. And uh, so we both watched it. Uh, I've been eager to watch it since it came out because I'm a huge diehard Karate Kid fan. I love that shit. It, I was excited to see What about you, Grizzly? Were you excited it came to Netflix? Oh, definitely. Um, what, as soon as it came to Netflix, I binge-watched it? So. Yeah, I think we got it done in like two days. Yeah. But uh, we've been meaning to do a podcast on it, and you just things have got this. October has been a busy month, guys. Like, yeah, it has even been. busier than I thought it would be. Usually, October is pretty busy, and we're 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 kind of racking our minds on what to do this this month because we're not doing uh, games from the games crypt from this the year. Crypt. Yeah, uh, so we we started with okay, we're gonna do. Let's do uh, some more Friday Night Fridays you know, uh, Dead by Daylight. So we did that, and I already had that set up, and then someone came to me with the Phasmophobia game, and that became its own obsession. But anyway, to the topic. This is basically... Cobra Kai is basically what happened years, like, yeah, after the Karate Kid, what, three? Yeah. You know, one of the things I like about this is it's still up in the air. Like, throughout the years, one of the biggest things that happened that, that people started questioning about the Karate Kid was who was the bad guy, especially in the first movie. Was it uh, Daniel or Johnny? And uh, this Cobra Kai actually takes that and runs with it. I mean, because in Karate Kid, you only see it from uh, Daniel's point of view. Oh, yeah, from his perspective. But in Cobra Kai, you see it from Johnny's point of view. I would even so much as say that Johnny is the protagonist of Cobra of, the, of this this series. Um, he's the he's the oh, one that definitely, she'll follow. Definitely. You know, as yeah. opposed to uh, the Karate he's, Kid he's being definitely the protagonist. You know, in um, in Karate Kid, he's it. It's portrayed that he is the antagonist. Mm hmm. It took several years, but, and at least from what I've seen, it for other people to go like look at it from Johnny's perspective. Yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly what you do in Cobra Kai. Mm -hmm. um, is it's got these these flashbacks of, you know, the time during the Karate Kid, and they even talk about it. It that's not really the case. Yeah, I mean, Johnny wasn't the bad guy. Well, they both seen it from their own perspectives. Daniel you know, was the bad guy. They they both seen it from their own perspectives. Like Daniel saw. Like you know, so the the sucker punch he did, he just threw a punch. Like they both, when they both tell the stories, they kind of leave out the uh, certain parts that make them look like they're villains. You know. Yeah. And I think that was cool. Just a quick warning for those of you who have not seen Cobra Kai: there will be spoilers incoming. But it starts it starts off um, with Johnny basically getting out of bed, uh, having a normal day. He's, he works a shit job as like a construction worker. Or not a construction he's worker, a like handyman. like a maintenance guy. Yeah, he's a handyman. And he's doing all this, all these work, this jobs, these odd jobs, and doing stuff like that, like cleaning rats out of gutters and shit like that. Poor guy. Like it shows that he fell from grace. You know, he's still kind of driving the same car he had in high school, and uh, still a beautiful car. I don't give a fuck. And I like his taste in music. I like he just he seemed like a cool cat to me. You know, yeah. especially in the beginning, and it just shows that. And he passes by this billboard, and the billboard, of course, is uh, LaRusso car sale, not car, car, dealer. car dealership. Yeah, he has like several car de dealerships, and and it's like we kick the prices down or some stupid shit like that, kick the yeah. competition. We we chop the prices like we chop the competition. Or so yeah, something something along those lines, and it was it was very karate related, and they, like you buy a car, or you go there, and you leave with a fucking. Uh, 
uh, one of those trees. Bonsai. Yeah, bonsai tree, and it it continues on, and some some stuff happens to where um, Johnny meets this young man who just is kind of like a nerd. He's kind of like the the bullied kid that that just moved, kind of like Lur- like Larusso was when he first moved to to town, and he, oh. you know. It almost, almost the exact same story. He just didn't know anyone. He's these kids just bullied the shit out of him. By the way, those bullies look like fucking idiots. On a, don't get me wrong. The the the, uh, the actors did an amazing job. The uh, the actors oh, yeah. that played them did a good job because you love to hate them, and uh, you're like, oh man, these guys are douchebags. It just, it just goes to show how far it went. Like compared to the '80s, Johnny being a bully himself, possibly being a bully, depending on your outlook on the situation, to these goofball bullies now. Yeah. You know, uh, so Johnny ends up beating the shit out of these kids to save this other kid, and gets arrested. And gets arrested for it. And uh, so this kid, the kid he he saved, um, Miguel, I think his name is. Yes. Yeah. If, if I'm wrong, let me know. Uh, he, the kid he saves basically wants him to teach him. He wants to be so Johnny kind of says no he's not into that and he got a bunch of money from his stepdad because his stepdad's a piece of shit and well, uh, his stepdad um gave him that check to pretty much write him yeah, out of buy him out life. of his life yeah yeah real shit way to do it yeah well he was just a dickhead we got some really good flashbacks of johnny's life too he was the the nerdy kid that used to get beat up yeah and he kind of he changed his life around he fell in Until love with he found Cobra Kai. Yeah, he fell in love with with uh, with karate in general. He fell in love yeah. with it as a kid, and and you know that the that is the original sensei. What's that guy's name? So the original sensei, he he just kind of like nursed him, and that guy's a dickhead, by the way. We'll get back to that in a minute, but damn good actor. But damn he good plays actor. A great dick. I mean, every time he's a bad guy in a movie, you he's love to hate him. Smoking a full ass cigar. Every time he's just a really, a really good actor. It, in the first season, he's dead. No one knows anything about him. He just, we just know he's dead. Before we get any further, like we find out that Daniel has a, a, a son and a daughter, and uh, son is a complete dipshit. Yes, yeah, it. You know what it reminded me? It reminded me of Michael's story in uh, GTA Five. Yes, Except the daughter wasn't a slut. Yeah, yeah. the daughter wasn't a well. What she, wasn't she? She was <laughs> she was playing with some feelings at the end of that fucking series. That's all. And the season by season yeah. two, you you learn maybe you don't like her as much. But uh, we'll get to that. So season one is basically about Cobra Kai becoming uh, established again. Again, yes. Johnny has this this outlook on Cobra Kai. He wants them to be the badasses they were, but he wants to be fair, different, and honorable. He doesn't want it to be a ruthless dojo like it was when he was in it. He, he, wants, he wants his students to be badass and be able to defend themselves, but not go out and start the fights. Well, we found out in the first season that Cobra Kai was um, more or less lifetime banned from from being in those tournaments. and it, It's just too bad. And honestly, Johnny worked his ass off to fight that and won, uh, despite LaRusso fighting back. <laughs> it's funny because in another world, you can look at those two and be like, they could be friends. They really could. There's scenes that they actually get along and they're doing well and they're being friends. And then there's and always then, something that and happens. Then the, and then the kids fuck up and they're like, well, we can't be friends no more. Yeah, there's always like their their students fuck up or the kids fuck up or something happens or someone says the wrong thing at the wrong time and they're fighting. And, and usually when they get along, it's usually like these really... The first time was uh, when he went and got his car replaced by LaRusso's dealership. Well, he went to go get it because it got towed yes. to his place. Yeah, it got towed to his place because someone hit it. And While he's there trying to get his car out of their impound or whatever uh, to take it somewhere else, he sees Daniel LaRusso's daughter walk in, who was in the vehicle that totaled his fucking car. What it, the, the major big part that happened in this scene was that he's trying to avoid Daniel. And the and the, the whole at all costs. At all costs. Yeah. He doesn't want to deal with him. He doesn't want to doesn't want to he he just doesn't want to be in that. And then Daniel sees him and offers him a new car. He says it's gonna cost too much money. But the whole time he's in there with his employees, Daniel is, and he's almost mocking Johnny. Not That's even exactly almost, he, he is doing. mocking Johnny. That's exactly what he was doing. And I also I also like this that they actually acknowledged in the show that that wasn't a legal kick. 
They in it, it. They acknowledged it. I like. Of course, Daniel didn't acknowledge it, but Johnny kept saying, and it was an illegal kick. Uh, yeah. You can even ask Gambit, who is is big into martial arts and has done stuff like that, and he's he'll he'll tell you. It, it, yeah, I think he said in the show that's an illegal kick. But the whole time he's trying to get away from Larusso, and Larusso's like, ah, you know what? I tell you what. Here, I'm gonna hook you up with a new car, free of cost. Da 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 da. Which Larusso is trying to be in his mind the nice guy. And I, I could see his point of view on that, and I could see both their points of view on that. And well, and of course, like all all giants is like, I'm oh, fuck off. I, I I'm cool. Don't worry about it. I got this. I can pay for it. I don't need your charity, you know. And Larusso is just a, kind of being pushy. And at one point, and you guys have probably seen this on the commercials. Three, with, there's two with Larusso, and there's there's Larusso, and then of course Johnny. And they're talking, and they're talking about, like, is this the karate guy? You know, and he's like, yeah, you know, the guy, this is the guy you kicked his ass? Where Larusso goes, no, technically I kicked his face. Yeah. That scene happens. He gets a new car. Not much longer after that, he ends up taking that money from his stepdad. And uh, he opens up Cobra Kai. After a while, uh, Daniel sees that and doesn't like that at all. Because he still sees Cobra Kai as what it used to be. Yeah. What the the big thing that you missed is the fact that um, Johnny has a son. Oh yeah, yes. And he has dropped out of school and become a hellion. Yeah, he's a bit of an he's a he's a bit of an ass. His he's son is. He's a thief. Yeah, you know, and the mom is just a fucking druggy whore. That's putting it mildly. I fool. I felt bad because like every time you saw her with her son, she didn't give a shit. He's, he's trying to more get more worried about. Looking for a man and, and getting drugged. Yeah. A real piece of shit, unfortunately. And there's one particular scene where uh, where Johnny takes on um, that his pupil, Miguel, and gives him basically like this gi, his old gi from when he was in um, when he was in Cobra Kai. And Johnny's son was actually walking around the corner to go like I don't know, make amends with him or talk with him and, and be yeah. You, you, well, he, what had happened was. Um... His mom had decided to go to Rio with her new boyfriend. In every scene and you see her and gone. she's dating some dude, new dude. Yeah, and was going to be gone for like... A month? Who knows how long. Two month, two weeks. And, and so he decided, you know what, I'm just going to go stay with my dad. Um, you know, because his dad had already tried making amends with him because the school called and said he'd been missing school and all that. Um, so he walked around the corner to where he knew his dad was opening up this dojo and sees him hugging Miguel. Yep. And pretty much just loses his shit and it's like, no, fuck that. Same at, old piece of shit. At that point he's just trying at that point he's just trying to hurt his dad after that and it's Yeah. It's uh That's it's, all he was trying to do. Yeah. Uh, so he ends up working his son ends up working for LaRusso. Uh, at one point, at the age of sixteen, he he lied on his application and everything. Great background checks there, right? Hires an eighteen-year-old around, you know, high-end vehicles. Yeah, like Larusso's family, some of the guys that work there is family. His cousin, yeah, yeah his I was cousin. waiting. I was waiting for my cousin Vinny jokes. That's all I'm saying. Like I, I was expecting his cousin to be named Vinny. I was expecting his cousin to be named Vinny. I was expecting like a little bit of a wink to the audience on that, but that is freaking hilarious. Yeah. yeah, the show they just it just gets better and better. There's 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 scenes where there's a lot of animosity between them, and then there's scenes where like you could think they'd become friends, and then something always happens and just fucks that up. Russo's wife is kind of cool, she, but uh, the thing is, is she reminds me a little bit of Adrian from Rocky. You know, go go do something and better yourself. Oh, stop doing yeah, that. A little, bit, a little bit, but at the same time, she was the only fucking sensible person in the whole fucking two seasons. Oh, there were, there were the, the yeah, females, well, no, the female counterparts because, were very sensible. Because she's like, really? It's been 25 fucking years, give or take? And you're still fucking upset that he was in Cobra Kai? I mean, you beat him at a tournament, but you're still trying to outdo him? Like, grow the fuck up. Well, she told him to do something to get his mind off of it, and he gets back into karate, and after he gets back into karate, by the end of season two, she's like, no more of this. Bitch, yeah. you told him to do it. Like, you told him to get into this. And she was happy that he was. 
And but it, but she was mad because it was taken away from his job and like his his business and, and yeah and, and his son and yes. her yes one thing that, that I, I want to talk about once we get through these two seasons is on season three because I've I've got a theory that I, I would think would be awesome to see but so Johnny's son is working at Larusso's yes right his crew. Uh, say hey, you know, give us the code to the to the storage room. That way we can jack some stereos and shit. Yes. And uh, which those guys, I didn't like and, them from the beginning. And make some money. And he's like, dude, that that like that's my job. You know, I I can't do that. You can see he's legitimately yeah. trying to be like a good person. He's tr- he's changing. Yeah. Like j- like Daniel's changing him. Because he's finally being treated right. Yeah. He, he kind of has that father figure in. In uh, Daniel, and you know he's he's enjoying. So, you know he gets the code. You know he's he's torn about it. He tells them, "Yeah, I got the code." Well, they show up that night to, you know, get it from have him. them have him let him in, and he goes, "Nah, it's not gonna happen." And he fights he, him. Well, he lets them kick his ass. In yeah, front of the- and then he falls back under a camera and goes, "Hey, look up." Yeah. You know, I'm not the only one here, and they fucking bounce out. Well, then, uh, my cousin Vinny again fucking convinces him, oh, hey, you gotta take this paperwork over to, uh, over to Daniel's house, because he wants it every night. That guy was giving, was pranking his, that, he was pranking the kid throughout the whole time. The whole, I mean, the first day he almost quit, because they made him turn a car on in a, in a building, the, in the, in in the the showroom. showroom. And, packed show. Yeah, and then Daniel comes out and starts yelling at him, and the poor kid didn't know any different. He just... Yeah. And then Daniel apologized, and, and, and I think that showed kind of like, oh, hey, this is a father. Kind of, he, This guy can be a father figure. The kid goes to Daniel's house, meets his daughter, meets Daniel's daughter, and it's like love at first sight. Yeah, I could see but that. For him, then goes and finds out that... Um, Takes her Daniel's to that party doing karate mm-hmm. and uh, no well, mind you ask. mind you we got to talk about this first that that time the uh, the nerd kid that was under uh, Johnny had become popular because he beat up the bully the bully kids and he, he had done yeah. some stuff in some in, in the, the lunchroom in, in LaRusso's daughter's honor they were straight dating at this point and she was supposed to go to a party to meet uh, Miguel uh, and she was grounded Anyway, that, so that happened, and so they went to that party. But anyway, you were you were telling the story. I just I just interrupted. I apologize. I, I, I figured I'd to get that point across because they were dating. That's a big that's a big point in the show. Yeah. So so at that time, um, Johnny not only had Miguel but had Hawk, and had and we got to talk about Hawk a little bit. A, a, a group of other um, nerds, really. Yeah, like like um, the outcasts of school. Yeah, in in Cobra Kai, in who had, his little strip who had joined there. because there was a video of of Miguel kicking the shit out of the bullies when he couldn't the, the, have stands the, no more. Yeah, the, the bullies slash preps. Yeah, I can't remember the name of Johnny's son. So he goes to take the paperwork to Larusso and uh, finds out that he's doing karate and. Asks him to teach him. So he train, trains him a bit, um, and then some, something happens where Johnny gets all pissed off and goes to LaRusso's house and sees his son there with Johnny and is like, wait, what the fuck is going on? Johnny and Daniel are getting ready to fight for, uh, what, like the fuck second or third time in season. It's just that that those that fight is just a big cock tease, man. They just Yeah. They the whole time they're like we're going to fight, we're going to fight and then something happens like, "Oh, we're not going to fight." Okay. And then uh, Johnny's son goes, "Dad, just get the fuck out of here." And Daniel's like, "Wait, what the hell? Get the hell out. Don't come back." You know how dare you lie to me? Yep. And that's when it came out because you at one point I think I think that Johnny's son really wanted to tell LaRusso the truth that he was really he he wanted to tell him the truth Johnny's son uh, his mom was gone for like months so the house that he was staying at his mom's house 
lost power and you know like they weren't they paying got, bills so what ended up happening was because uh, the daughter uh, LaRusso's daughter came and visited him or, or took him home or something and saw his living environment he barely had food and uh, so they talked it over and basically took him in uh, the LaRusso family took him in and, and it was really nice of them you know they yeah. seem like really cool people I, 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 I'm going to skip back a little bit when, when um, LaRusso's daughter was dating that asshole the Asian, the Asian bully guy yeah. When when Larusso when they brought him in for dinner and they were making like that sashimi, and he was cutting yeah. it with a knife and he's telling him and the kid didn't give a fuck. He's like, I don't eat fish. And she's like, You eat fish sticks? Well, I like fish sticks. Oh, I'm like, do you have any fish sticks? <laughs> I'm like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? That is good food. Where's your family from? Uh, Burbank. Yeah, he's, he was <laughs> he was he was like a clearly Asian guy and and. And Daniel's like asking him all these questions, like you know, are you from, like he's from Japan. So, so the end of season one, um, they go to the tournament, and Cobra Kai has got is thriving. Uh, Cobra Kai is thriving at this point. Oh, he's yeah. making money hand over fist. They've got Hawk. They've got um, the the chick who uh, the Samoan chick who her dad is like a was like a legendary linebacker yeah. for uh, for the Chargers or some shit. Hawk, let's let's talk about Hawk real quick before I guess we get too further into this. Okay. Let's Hawk so, is probably one of my yeah. favorite characters. Yeah, he, he you loved you love him at the beginning and at the He's end you love to hate him. Born with a cleft, cleft lip. lip is yeah. And after several surgeries, you know they kind of fixed it a little bit, but he still had a real bad, pretty scar. gnarly scar. And so um, Johnny, you know, never being a teacher, never being an instructor, nothing like that. <laughs> Kind of treating the kids the way he was treated, you know, calling them lip. Yeah. You know, being a nerdy kid, having, you know, a scar like that, you know, from me being a nerdy kid and having a, a scar across my face, you get really self conscious about it. I mean, that's one of the main reasons why I always have a beard, um, always have a mustache, because I'm, you know, I'm in my mid-30s, and I, I, if I didn't have my facial hair, I'd still be real self-conscious about my face. So I, I completely understood how he felt, you know, being called lip. You know, because of, because of the scar. I mean, it's right under the nose. Yeah, it was, it was literally like right here. And it was it was a yeah. big scar. And uh, they, they made it obvious uh, when they first introduced that character, because he was a part of the nerdy crowd. I only had one other friend. Miguel became their friends, and... and uh, it's just like people made fun of him for. You can tell he was really upset about it. And his backstory, like they show some of his backstory a little later after you meet him. But uh, yeah, he's very self-conscious. And like Grizzly was saying just now, the first thing that that Johnny does is calls him Lip. Hey, you Lip, and he just start talk starts talking shit about it. And he said, so one of the things he told him was like, hey, if you don't want to be called that, you got to flip the script. You got to change it up. Yeah got to be badass enough to where they don't see the lip yeah they see something else so he leaves that that session because it's the first day they're doing the session and uh i think it's like the third or fourth day honestly um and johnny comes up and goes hey uh where's lip and miguel goes oh he didn't show up Oh well, another fucking pussy didn't show up to training. Well, which by then he lost maybe like half his class because he was. Yeah, and then boom, in comes Hawk with this fucking foot high, bright fucking red mohawk, sleeveless shirt, muscles everything. out, looking hella and, cool. You didn't even recognize him. Yeah, and he comes walking in. And he goes, "Lip, the fuck you do to your hair?" He goes, it's Hawk now. He gives him that name, which is one of the things I liked about that. Because he's like, you're not Lip no more. Your, your name is Hawk. He says, that's what I'm talking about when I say flip the script. So so that night, Hawk goes and gets a fucking full back tattoo <laughs> at the age of fucking 15. <laughs> full fucking back tattoo of a Hawk. All fucking shoulder to shoulder yep. all the way down. He's like, my friend did it for me. I'm like, fuck, dude. And he became Hawk... Ended up becoming, I th- I would say, what Cobra Kai used to be. Yeah, he, a- he ended up becoming 
the, I mean, I hate to say it, but the badass bully. Yeah. Well, Hawk, you, you watch the transition from Hawk being really quiet, or not, well, Lip, being really quiet, to Hawk, this really, like, no one is a nerd. Like, he's he doesn't even, he even, like, he, with his nerdy friend, he kind of, he kind of, like, forsook that poor guy. Pushed away all that, all of his old life and just became this new persona. He oh, was a yeah. phoenix. He was reborn. Uh, not all of it was good because uh, after a while, even Miguel started becoming too overconfident and kind of being an asshole, especially at the end of season one. Yeah. Um, but I, I, Hawk, we had to talk about because he's one of those characters that, like, there was a transition, and it, it he went from being really meek and quiet to being overconfident. I mean, he was a badass. Yeah. But he was overconfident, and he was pretty much the equivalent of what I think Johnny was trying not to teach. And he even says, this isn't what I want. This isn't what I wanted for them. Yeah. Okay, so so we'll, we get to the tournament, right? So there's Cobra Kai. There's what, like four or five other dojos. Mm-hmm. And then um, the last entry to come in is an independent who ends up being Johnny's son, mm-hmm. you know, after being taught by Daniel LaRusso. So they get to the finals, and it's uh, Miguel versus Johnny's son. He fought Hawk, and Hawk actually yeah. sucker Hawk. punched him. There's, there's that scene in the back where it almost reminded me of Karate Kid 1, where uh, Daniel's back there, and he's, like, trying to help him, and he goes... And he rubs his hands together. And you're thinking, oh, he's going to do the Mr. Miyagi thing from the first movie. And he goes, medic! <laughs> <laughs> They're getting ready to do the finals. And then it's announced that um, in Johnny's son's corner, he will now be coached by Daniel LaRusso. So it, it goes, it the, the whole thing basically comes down to Miguel and Johnny's son. Which, poor, you could see Johnny is just torn yeah he wants his student to win but he also loves his, wants son. his son to win. yeah yeah uh, and, and, i mean it comes down literally to the last point it's to miguel to johnny's son yeah miguel started exploiting that weakness and basically being the equivalent of what they didn't want him to be in you know what 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 the old the old sensei was teaching like be just being a dick explain the weakness have no mercy yada 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 but anyway long story short is cobra kai won Nope. Not necessarily Miguel in an honorable won. way, but they won. Then they won. we jump into season two. Miguel and LaRusso's daughter no longer together. Yeah. Uh, LaRusso's daughter ends up getting with Johnny's son, who is living under the LaRusso roof still. Yeah. Um, and uh, Miguel ends up getting with this new chick who... Uh, Kind of a badass. It's like a new student who's pretty just, much her first day in Cobra Kai beat Miguel's ass. Yeah, season one ended great. Season two started pretty strong and ended really good. Uh, the 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 date scene I think happened season two was uh, the double date, which it was yeah. where 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 Johnny gets with <laughs> he's getting with Miguel's mom, Miguel's mom. of all people, and, and like, pretty much falls in love with her. Well, he starts having a wet dream about her in one of the beginnings of one of the episodes. I thought that was fucking hilarious. Yeah. So the the double date didn't really start out as a double date. No, it was meant to be a normal date. It just... And his wife. And they went out to a Mexican restaurant where uh, Johnny and Miguel's mom were already sitting there. You know, that they kind of became friends. Well, they started acting yeah. friendly to each other, and it looked like yeah. things were actually getting better. After the f- season one, uh, Daniel actually rebuilt the dojo that uh, that Mr. Miyagi had, and he did a lot of hard work on it. He was actually bringing in students for free, and he was doing his best to... They, oh, yeah, that they did. They, they were they were trying to advertise, and Cobra Kai came in and fucked that up. I remember yeah. that. Um, led by A group led by Hawk decided to go to that dojo and basically just graffiti everything and destroy it and it was it was really sad because yeah now here's why 
he decided to do that. Because the asshole uh, instructor from Karate Kid came back. Oh yeah, that 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 is a very important part. Or crease. Yeah. Or something like that. Crease. Yeah. Yes. So he came back. Yeah. Came back and you know, pandered to Johnny and Johnny's like, Okay, but we're doing things my way, it's my dojo. Yeah, and he was basically blowing smoke up Johnny's ass the whole time. He's every time Johnny wasn't away because Johnny went to go visit his friends from uh high school at one point. One of them had cancer All and was dying. From the karate kid. Yes. And they one was one had cancer and was dying, and while he was away, he he was putting ideas in these fuckers' heads right after like Johnny worked his actually went out of his way to be like, okay, we have we we do not we do not have mercy for the weak, but we will not exploit the weak. And you know he was telling them like we're not gonna we're gonna win honorably. Well, Chris started fucking that up. He started filling their heads with bullshit. Like you know what he usually did in the first in the first movies and stuff. And turns out the friend that we were talking about that that Johnny went to visit, uh, they went to go have a last hurrah, which that was a badass scene. That was they went out and had a bar brawl, and they went out camping. And the next morning, the poor guy died, and uh, that was really sad. The, but. the whole reason that Hawk and the others destroyed the uh, Miyagi Do dojo was because of what. Crease had put in their heads. Yes. He was telling them, you know, someone needs to teach him a lesson. And, and that's another thing. Uh, Hawk had stole Miyagi's uh, Medal, uh, of Honor. Medal of Honor that he got in the war. And uh, they'd found out about it, and Miguel, much later on, returned it personally. But he returned it to uh, Johnny's son. And he says, make sure she knows we didn't mean to do this. This was all you know, a big mistake. She gave it to, uh, he gave it to, to Johnny's son, who was supposed to tell, uh, LaRosa's daughter that, which he never did. You know, all those teenage hormonal fucking thoughts that they get. Just when poor Johnny gets his shit together, life just dick slaps him. Well, let's, let's get to, uh, the end. Of the, the finale season. of season two. So, the tensions were rising all season long between, uh, Cobra Kai and Miyagi Do. Yes. Little things happened here and there that just made it worse and worse and one would do something to piss the other off and the other would retaliate in its own way and then it, it just, the tensions were at this point at a breaking point. We're, we're talking the last episode. So what, what finally pushed everything over the edge was the end of the summer party where um, one of the friends was trying to get everyone to get along and yes. invited everyone without everyone knowing. Because they were all uh, yeah, friends invited at one point. both sides to the same party. Yeah. So Miguel is with this new chick, and Larusa's daughter is with Johnny's son. Miguel and Larusa's daughter are out by the pool, and she kisses him. Well, she's drunk. Remember, they're having that. They're having the the drink off between okay. her yeah. and his and and Miguel's girlfriend, and she was like, "I'm not gonna." Yeah. F-. And by that yeah. time, she's drunk so, as fuck. But I, that, that I'm not making excuses. Yeah. So she kisses him. Miguel's girlfriend sees it and then turns away, but didn't see him, you know. Push her back and say, I can't do this. Push her back and say, no, I can't do this. I'm not with you. I'm with someone else. And goes off. Mind you, Miguel. Big, Miguel gets a really big head, but he's oh, he one and he kind of becomes an asshole to an extent because he gets confident. But he's always a good kid throughout the series. Yeah. He's always yes. a good kid. First day of school. They're doing the morning announcement, and Miguel's girlfriend goes in the office, it's the microphone, and pretty much tells LaRusso's daughter... Come on, bitch. That she's coming for her, and she's getting an ass whooping. Which becomes and what I call the, the schoolroom blitz. Lighting up a fire on both sides, where Cobra Kai and... Miyagi Do were just beating the shit out of each Which, other throughout the entire school. By that time, all the people that didn't make it with Cobra Kai were actually like the ones that that, that more or less yeah the ones that, that couldn't cut it went to Miyagi Do and learned learned uh, from Daniel, which was actually really cool. Like because yeah. there's that that one nerdy kid we mentioned from season one that was good friends with Hawk. Uh, honestly, I wanted to bitch slap that kid a few times. Not gonna lie. I 
fucking hated that kid. I knew that. people like him in in growing up. Like, and there's nothing wrong with being a little eccentric and weird and different. But this kid was like, I want all of the results, but I don't want to do none of the work. But it all it took was was um, was Daniel to find like his flow, like his his what worked with him, and that was awesome. That was really cool. But anyway. Uh, there's a there there are points when when Hawk and, and this kid were butting heads and, and like were, they just became rivals almost without even trying and uh, it's it friend it almost like friend against friend in some parts like this two yeah. little Asian nerdy kid and the little white nerdy kid fighting I thought that was hilarious yeah I thought that was and, and then the big guy comes oh, up I was about to mention him the new guy the, the the dude that's like 40 years old that's in there and he's fighting and he's and he's a uh, all about uh, all about all about Cobra Kai, which by the way we didn't we failed to mention Stingray. the yeah Stingray, which gave himself a fucking stupid ass nickname. <laughs> back back to where we were at. Um, this huge war just breaks out into school between these two these two factions, and it just goes on and on and on. And I'll just let you continue from there, Chris. So uh, Miguel's girlfriend and his ex girlfriend, Larissa's daughter, are. Just going to town, just slugging the out. shit out of each other. Yeah, and Miguel is in this all-out war with um, Johnny's son. Yeah, they're fighting hardcore. I mean, all through the halls, up the stairs, up and to it, the balcony. It does need to be said that one of the last things Johnny said to Miguel was that sometimes we do need to give weak, we do need to give weak mercy, the weak mercy. Yeah, that was one of the last things that Johnny had told him. Uh, after and as getting Miguel is getting ready to finish the fight, you know, do the final blow, he remembers Johnny saying that, so he lets up. Johnny's son get gets up, gives him a roundhouse kick, and kicks his ass off a fucking two story balcony. Falls all the way down and onto like this this ramp. No, it it was the um, the handrail for the stairs. Yeah. And, I mean, you could just see that he's <laughs> fucking broken. I cringed. It was horrible. The only scene that really pissed me off about the whole fucking series thus far is that fall scene. Yeah, well, because his... Because he fell for, like, 20 fucking seconds. Oh, really? You didn't... Would it bothered you? Yeah. Huh. I thought it was well done. I think it was meant to be dramatic, and... It definitely did its job, and he looked like it was painful. If it was going to be slow mo, they should have had him wh- <laughs> fucking wail so fucking much. The, the, but then he winds up in the hospital, and it doesn't even say if he's going to live or not. No, it it it, the, it more or less ends, but more than more, a little more happens after that. Johnny loses uh, Miguel's mom. You know that Johnny's son is is. I don't think he was talking with his dad. Um, and then on top to top it all off for poor Johnny, he goes back to his dojo, and he hear he's I think he was drunk he, when when everything is wrong for Johnny. That's what he does. He drinks. Yeah. Um. He goes back and then he hears people training in the back room and sees that Crease is back there training. The majority of his uh, yeah of his of his his of the kids. And Crease basically like my fucking dojo now. Yeah, he stole the dojo from him. I don't know how he did it. I, I don't know how he did it because legal like legally in real the real world it that that would have been impossible in my opinion. But he's like this is my dojo. I created Cobra Kai. You know, and so the last scene you see is like basically Johnny just gave up. He just fucked his he yeah. said fuck my car, fuck my house, fuck everything and he's just leaving. I don't know where he went, but he was he was he just threw his keys in the car and walked off. And that's the last thing you see and and it's it's a heartbreaking heart-wrenching scene cuz he lost his pupil, his star pupil he saw as a son. He lost his son to Daniel. Daniel hates him because he thinks that well Daniel hated him anyway, but they they think that this war is bullshit, you know, and at this point and the funny thing is the the double date scene was the day before they were being friendly. They were they they were on good terms. Everything was going well, and this happened. And it just it's it's bullshit. And it's it, it was good writing. It was very good writing. Yeah. So th- this is what I would like to see for season three. Okay. Okay. So I would love to see Miguel live and heal. 
But it's got to be like a montage of hard hardness. Like it's it can't be like oh, turn it on back. And what I would love to see is Johnny and Daniel finally coming to terms with each other. They need to fight it out. They just need to fight. Yeah, you know, fight it out and finally get it done and over with. And then those loyal to Johnny from Cobra Kai sticking with him and coming to Miyagi-Do so that that force can take out. Yeah, you want to see an all-out war between... At the next tournament. You want to see all the all-out war between Cobra Kai, the new Cobra Kai, the old Cobra Kai, rather, and, and Miyagi-Do slash Johnny's students. Yeah. It's an interesting concept. But I, I honestly don't know what's going to happen with Johnny's son, because, I mean... He's the wild he's card. Either gonna, he's either going to stay on the run, or he's going to wind up in jail. Yeah. Because, I mean, he kicked fucking Miguel off the fucking balcony and put him in the hospital. I don't know. I want to see kind of what you said, but there's some other things I'd like to see. I want to see some some more backstory on Miguel's uh, current girlfriend. I want to see some more backstory on um, you know. I want I want to hear I want to hear more about Miyagi. There's got to be more to Miyagi's story. But as far as as far as the show goes, it's amazing. Like you guys got to watch it. Um, oh, and it just goes to show like how things change, especially growing up or get, going through high school, and how something little can more or less flame a fan into hatred. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think. So we're getting close to the end of the season and I guess I might as well make that announcement. Uh, the end of the season, as you guys know, we take a break. We take a nice hiatus so we can have a breather between seasons of podcast. Uh, this will be the end of season 7 and that'll be the last episode will be 140 and uh, that's when season 7 ends and then we'll probably take a three or four month, maybe longer uh, break from the podcast and then continue. Doesn't mean we're not going to stop posting content gameplay and stuff like that but we do need a break from uh the the podcast in general from time to time so then we want you to stay nerdy stay sexy